Well, one of my most standout experiences as a, as a racer would probably be 1986, when um, I was first, the first time I was selected to represent Australia in the motocross to nations. And, you know, this particular race was in, in Italy at a, at a track called Majora. And, uh, you know, Australia was very strong. We had Jeff Fleisk on the team and he was riding very well. And, you know, myself that day, I was on fire. And uh, the second moto, back then it was the last moto of the day, was the 250 class and the 500 class combined. And uh, I was on a 250, so as the moto got going, it all sort of got to the point where David Bailey was out in the lead on the 500. Ricky Johnson, who was uh, on the 250, was second. And then David Thorpe was on the factory Honda 500 in third overall. And he was just, you know, became the world champion, 500 world champion that year. And uh, I was fourth on the 250, so second in my class and fourth outright in the race. And uh, I remember coming, coming down the main straight and saw Dave Thorpe's father, who was his mechanic, with the pit board out, and uh, it read Dak coming, you know, faster. And then, the, you know, and, and he had like plus 10 on that at that stage, and the next lap it was plus Dak plus 8, Dak plus 6. So I was actually, you know, pulling him in by about two seconds a, a lap. And, uh, you know, by the end of the race, I got within two, one or two seconds right behind Thorpe and, you know, nearly got there. So I finished fourth overall in that race. and and second in the, in the class behind Ricky Johnson. It was just, there was 100,000 people there. It was a bright, sunny day. Uh, the Europeans were going off with their air horns and all that sort of stuff. And it really, uh, after the race, you know, it felt like half the crowd come running over to me and asking who the hell I was because no one had heard of me before. So really standout race and something that I'll cherish and uh, remember forever.